Hello. In the last episode, Paul showed you an XR version of the Simplifying Microservices workshop using the HoloLens. It demonstrated spatial, ML, Kubernetes, and open telemetry tracing using Oracle Cloud and database technologies. In this second episode he will show you an XR version of some of Oracle's workshops for graph, again using the HoloLens. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy! Okay, what we're going to look at today is a XR HoloLens version of some of the Oracle Graph database workshops. Um, and so, jumping right into it, a property graph is basically made up of a vertex and edges, vertices and edges, uh, or nodes and edges. Um, and let's take a quick look at how those a graph model is made from uh, databases. Okay, and so now we have a graph model. From that graph model, we make notebooks uh, in order to conduct uh, queries and things like that. And then those are uh, visually represented in Oracle Graph Studio. And I'm trying to kind of represent the same type of thing in an XR uh, format here. And so, uh, you know, I've, there's so much functionality in Oracle Graph Studio, but um, I'm, I'm starting in on that here. And so the first thing we'll look at is a uh, force layout. And you'll see um, in the, in the uh, workshop um, that there are so many different property um, uh, graph use cases, uh, you know, neural networks, social graphs, etc. And the workshop focuses on a big one, which is uh, financial industry and the example of uh, detecting uh, money laundering. And so you'll see in the workshop uh, that, that this is done in, with a number of different queries and visualizations, one of which is community detection. And so let's take a quick look at that in the workshop doc. Okay. And so we see the same thing here. Uh, I've um, brought that information into XR to the HoloLens and I'm representing it visually here. So you can see the labels with this spline connection to the vertices. Uh, the property relationship of transfer between these bank account uh, nodes or vertices, and in this case, the directional relationship, the, the direction the transfers are flowing. And so we can see that there's a community here. We can grab a node, bring it closer to analyze it, send it back, uh, and you know we can just kind of visually even see that that account has a lot of activity there and drill down from there. Okay, the next thing. Um, Workshop will we'll get into more data visualizations, you know, more accounts and things like that. And that's a, uh, another uh, graph workshop which shows this concentric layout. So let's look at the workshop doc and what that looks like very quickly. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the XR visualization version of that. Uh, for this, I've added, just for fun, I've added some sound to it. And I've, um, although you can manipulate it with eyes, voice, and hands, like I've been doing with all of these applications, in this case, I've actually also added um, an automatic uh, rotation and movement of the graph to put it kind of in a logical position for analyzing uh, a concentric layout. So let's take a look at that now. specific areas like this account here. These are, um, if you see in the workshop, 
Um, these are the accounts with a high number of um, transactions, and then these are the accounts that have the you know more circular references and things like that. So you can start to pull them out and analyze, look at them closer in that way, and then just step back and you know um, be able to detect patterns by looking, uh, visualizing uh, the graphs from different angles and things like that. You know, just as you would in two D in a three D manner. Okay, and so the uh, final thing I want to look at is a, um, th there isn't too much visual to it, and I've really just started in on it, but it's the idea of uh, graph modeling visually. And what I have here are uh, three timelines. So this is data. Um, they're not labeled correctly, but this is a timeline of uh, Benin, a timeline of Haiti, and a timeline of New Orleans. And the idea here is to be able to take information, set it on a common you know, platform area, as I have here, and then um, once it's dropped on that area, have the database create a graph model and then um, automatically, and then also look for commonalities. So when we drag different timelines in this case and place them here, work is done behind the scenes to make that model and find commonalities, such as in this case, Voodoo, and then you could bring that to you and do further analysis, drop different things. And so the idea being, you know, you can just drop whatever various data on and find patterns and things like that with it through the graph technology in the Oracle database. Uh, and with that, I'll wrap up. There's a lot more graph stuff in the future that I look forward to adding and showing you, and I appreciate your time. Thanks. <laughs> Check that out. <laughs>